<clears throat> All right, Aries, it's your turn for your love and relationship readings. I hope you all are doing well. I'll just put it over here. Cards, you said, just feel like that. All right. Bottom of the spread is Ace of Cups. So new beginnings, divine intervention. Um, I feel like it's new beginnings for some of you. All right, Aries, do keep in mind that Mercury is going retrograde at the end of the month. So um, do prepare for that. Any technology issues could occur. Things being shown to light, especially with Scorpio and Mercury retrograde. So a lot of illuminations. All right, so coming into the spread, uh, I was going to say Leo, just finished Leo, Aries. A lot of transformation is coming in for you. I feel like when it comes to your relationships, I feel like maybe there's clarity to move forward in a new direction, maybe new love possibly when it comes to how you feel about this other person. They have the Knight of Cups, so there is love here. There is offer on the table, uh, but maybe you're not quite ready to move forward with them. I do see the temperance card, so I feel like there's an indication to heal first. There's some things that you're still trying to heal internally. Maybe it was abuse that you were going through with this other person, whoever that may be. You know, it doesn't matter if it's love, relationship, what. It could be a family member. So there's a lot of healing that you're going through, I feel like. Um, but new things are coming to you, I feel like. Um, maybe you want new love, new commitment, new everything. Um, I feel like they're ready to offer you some kind of offer, some kind of opportunity with you, Aries. Because you have the will of fortune. So a lot of change is coming in. It could be divine intervention, like I said, with the bottom of the card. So a lot of new things are coming for you. Not necessarily love, but I feel like there is this idea of you know, you're still trying to heal from something that was painful. You're still trying to figure out things. But I feel like you're getting clarity to move forward. If it is to move with a new person or a new job opportunity. Okay. So that is good news. Let's get more into the reading about what's going on in your love life, relationships, for October. Alright. So, one of the first cards that came up in the spread for you was the Seven of Pentacles. So, my feeling with the Seven of Pentacles, a lot of you have been working hard, planting the seed in your garden, per se. You've been trying to put in the extra time and effort. You've been trying to wait on things to come into fruition. Um, I feel like there's a lot of love here. There's a lot of commitment here to waiting out the options. Maybe there's something, a goal or an ambition that you're trying to invest time and energy, but you're just maybe in some way being un, um, unconditional. You're showing unconditional love with the waiting process of it, like you're waiting on something to start blooming. Um, but there's need for clarity, there's need for truths to be spoken here in this situation because I feel like there's entrapment of some kind. Maybe you or another person feels entrapped. Maybe you feel like this other person, you know, maybe has their guard up but they're not being clear on what they want and so you're having to wait here to get the pieces of some kind to figure out them in some kind of getting... Um, but I feel like you're trying to do the best you can with it and showing unconditional love. You know, I was thinking Pisces because there was someone I was uh, watching their channel. They have Aries moon, but they're a Pisces. So you could be dealing with a Pisces or have Aries in your placement. I feel like you've been waiting patiently for this person to come through. And I feel like you have a lot of love for them. But for whatever your reason, it could be an air sign of some kind, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But there's an entrapment. There's guards up. There's there's no way to get through to them, I feel like, or they're putting this to you. 
Were you feeling trapped? Maybe up cards against the wall or you're up against the wall of some kind with this person, maybe this air sign when it comes to getting the truth spoken. So I do feel like even though the Ace of Swords or Queen of Swords is here, someone is speaking their truth. But they're being guarded or you are in some way. Alright, moving forward, I feel like there's going to be some pushing through some resistance through something. And maybe it's a breakthrough of toxicity that has come to you um, that maybe you weren't fully aware. Maybe it was getting this earth sign to be solid on a decision, but it's bringing in conflicts with that. So whatever that applies to you in your situation. Um, I just feel like there's a need to, I don't know why the word retaliate came to my mind. Like maybe push back, uh, maybe not push so hard in a situation that seems toxic. Because I feel like if you do, there's going to be pushback with other people. So probably not to go there with people. Someone may want to cause conflicts, maybe this air sign. Um, so try not to push against the bricks of it. Try to stay on top of things. Alright, so I feel like the Four of Wands, which is coming up next, could involve a marriage dynamic. Maybe marriage is coming for some of you. You're in a marriage. Uh, something that involving marriage is coming up. Uh, ultimately, your happiness in the situation. So I feel like you're getting clarity about that. But there's also this attachment of disattachment, like attachment to disattachment disattachment with this person that you're dealing with in this combative relationship that's what I feel like it's combative I feel like there's a disappointment like I said attachment to disattachment to get the clarity you need to move forward and to figure out you know ultimately you have everything you need in this situation I just feel like with this other person it's bringing up disappointment and I feel like you're going to get the clarity you need to move forward. But you're going to have to deal with combative people in some way, I feel like. Or if you make the right decision by not reacting to it, you're not going to have to deal with them. You know, I just feel like they're slowly getting away. Or maybe they're trying to get away with something that's toxic or shady. But I just feel like if you don't push... Or you're going to have to push forward through something, I feel like. But also to stay your ground. Because I feel like there's combative people around you. Or you're going to have to deal with these combative people. Involving a marriage dynamic or a situation like that. So try to do the best you can in this situation. Because I feel like there's a need to get clarity. And I feel like you'll get clarity. But I feel like it's a matter about figuring out what are you attaching to and disattach from it. I think that's the problem you're having maybe. You're maybe too attached to a situation when it comes to a marriage dynamic or someone in a marriage dynamic. So try to disengage from it and just try to center yourself from it. And focus on your happiness. Focus on those nine of cups. Because I feel like you do well once you focus on yourself for the moment, which you're good about. I just think there's involving a marriage of some kind, whether it's your marriage, someone else's marriage, whether a third party situation or whatever is going on. And I feel like there's a need to attach to detach. Like you're attaching to a situation, but then you're detaching. Like maybe it's about talking to someone. You talk to them. To get clarity about a situation then you detach like put your two cents into something and then just detach from it because you're trying to get clarity about a marriage situation maybe involving people that are combative who want their say in a situation just the word that i'm getting is level-headed you know stay centered stay grounded stay charged you know kind of like the earth energy is you know, give them the clarity that they need or get the clarity that you need about a situation, then detach. 
I don't know. Usually when I look at this card, it's disappointment. So it could be disappointment if you don't do it the right way. So do keep in mind that Aries when you're dealing with these combative people. Um, there, there could be a need to escape. Maybe that's why some of you try to escape. You don't want to deal with the conflict. It's too much. Alright, so I feel like once you do that, you're going to move forward. And you're going to patiently wait. But at the same time, there could be some conflicts with how you feel about a situation or your thoughts on a situation when it comes to options that you have to move forward. Could be a fire sign that you're dealing with. doesn't have to be. But I feel like there's a lot of choices that you can go with this. Maybe with these conflicting people. Um, but at the same time, it could bring on some anxiety. So try to tame that anxiety and try to maneuver with the options that you're given. Try to figure out what is the best solid strategy to move forward in this direction, whatever that may be. So I feel like for the most part, Aries, this is going to be an interesting month for you. But do be careful with those combative people because I feel like they're around you. You know, it could be a work dynamic, could be a situation that you're dealing with people. You know, give them the clarity that they need or ask for clarity, but don't don't get too involved more than you need to. Like, ask for it or, or not ask for it, but like, if you're trying to get clarity about maybe a friend or something, ask clarity about it, but don't don't put more into it than you really need to. I think that's going to be your, your uh, maybe question of the month, test of the month, is don't get too involved in it. Just ask what you need to ask and then be done. You know, don't get into tangled with it because I think it can be combated at this month. So do be aware of that. I felt that strongly. Anyways, bye-bye for now.